on a mental level, what's self-awareness? Knowing what type of people I like to be with. Knowing who helps me grow and who drains me. Yeah. That's mental self-awareness. So self-awareness at every level, and then we go into the spiritual consciousness level. That's disconnecting from all these identities and understanding the identity that we are wired for generosity and we're wired to serve. And only in service can we be happy. And that's us on a consciousness level. That's the identity of consciousness. Like water is wet, the sun is heating in light. Consciousness is service. Mm -hmm. Like that's how it fits. Why are we wired for that? We're wired for that because all of us as consciousness have been designed and we see it since like even kids like I was, I was giving this example of this beautiful and you may have seen it it, it it went viral on Instagram it was this little girl probably about two years old watching a cartoon and she takes a handkerchief and the cartoon character is crying and she goes up to the television no. and she tries to wipe it up right and it's, it's, it's incredible because this girl's two years old and she thinks this cartoon character animal is crying and she gets a real tissue and tries to wipe it on the TV, obviously it doesn't work. And there's another, another one that I saw with this statue of this rabbit and there's like four rabbits and one rabbit's like falling off the end uh -huh. and this little boy is trying to push the rabbit up, but it's a stone rabbit, it's just a statue. But he's trying to help it back up. So we see, and there was a great article in Wired about this, about how we're wired for generosity. Our, our brain is happier in service. This whole world is almost a school an education system to make us realize that one truth and we see that when we're serving when we're doing that we feel genuine happiness but when we're trying to gain and greed and power and strength we even feel empty as it slips through our fingers so the why is because that allows us to connect to our deepest self the happiest self that we have and modern studies have shown that so Michael Norton at Cambridge University he did a study where they gave people five, ten, twenty dollars to spend on themselves. Have you seen this? Go ahead. Though. Yeah, and then they spent five, ten, twenty dollars on others. So people spent five, ten, twenty dollars on makeup, Starbucks, and the normal stuff. Right, right, right? right. That was the that was the three common three makeup, Starbucks, and then something else. I can't remember. And then people who spent on other people, they also bought other the same stuff. Starbucks was still in there, yeah. and they're buying all this stuff. What they found is that when people self-assess their happiness before and after, without knowing about this A/B test, people who spent the money on themselves didn't feel any happier or any less happier. But the people that spent on others felt 10 to 20 percent happier. Mm. And then he went and tried this out. This was a college in in the United States. They then went and did it in Africa. They did it all over the world. And the stats and the patterns are the same. Wow. That we're wired for generosity, we're wired to serve. To make us realize that that's our real nature, that's our greatest self-awareness.